Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Omer, and this is Night in the Woods, and this is my first ever playthrough of Night in the Woods. This game, no exaggeration, for some reason, like, has been on my mind so much, and it's actually quickly jumping into, like, one of my favorite games of all time. It's gonna take quite a bit to knock it down. You know what I mean? It's gonna take quite a bit to knock it down. Well, look who it is. It's just amazing. It's just amazing from art style to, like, how real the characters get, how raw it is. Yep. Alive for another day. How are you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but uh, I've been across town, and I don't know. That helps. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. Uh, so what's up? I was just stopping in, gonna roll out. We gonna head out to band practice? Oh, are we? We're just gonna go right to band practice? I, that, that's good, I love band practice. I mentioned it before, but like when I was practicing with my bands when I was a teenager, oh my god, it's the best day! It's the best time! It's so much fun! It's honestly the best time- wait, what are you doing here? Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once and a uh, broken spoke through my leg. Ah! Jeez. It was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I can see that. Alright kids, I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. What? I don't know the song. Like at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. Let's try it anyway. You stupid jerks. Let's try it anyway. Weird Autumn. Is this the name of the song? Oh my god, it's way faster. We need to be more gentle. They're starting to jumble together in my mind, guys. Sorry if I make a few mistakes. I can't even read the lyrics this time. I played bass in a um, metalcore band, and oh, I pressed B instead. I'm bad. Uh, mostly because our oh, that's tough. Those parts are tough for me. Oh no. How do people do this? I think I would have a better shot if it was on PlayStation, which maybe I think you can get this game on PlayStation, but my Switch is already hooked up to the capture card, so. <laughs> Might as well just play it at this. And like, I don't know, some games just have like a vibe of like, Switch game. The music is really good in this, by the way. I wish I could read the lyrics. Okay, we didn't do too bad for a song we didn't know. Pretty good. Yeah, that was okay. Bad, not bad considering I don't, I don't know the song. Yeah, I used to play bass in a metal brand and like a like an indie pop band, and like it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Weird Autumn, die anywhere else. Weird Autumn's a cool song. I wish we could read the lyrics though. Hey, hey, duder. Angus, lean for the night. Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans? Crimes. <laughs> oh, crimes! You up for some crimes? Um, I might be hanging out with B. Let me check first. Cool, let me know. I don't want to ruin my relationship with B, like, just as it's starting to get off. You want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Um, mm, want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, for Lucen. For Lucen? Like we did when we were kids. Fort Lucen. When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucen Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh, oh no. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Yeah, great. I promise it'll be great. Okay, we sure we're doing this? Let me check with Greg real quick. 
Yeah, let's go mulling. Great. I mean, I feel like our relationship with B is just starting to get strong. You know what I mean? And, like, I'm sure you, we could do, go do crimes as well, but... Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? <laughs> Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. <laughs> I got gum. I'm going to turn on the radio now. Oh, no. Space Dragon. Old Gods of the Fort Lucent Mall. What do you mean? What do you mean, Old Gods of the Fort Lucent Mall? Fort Lucent! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm gonna make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. What happened to the internet? Man, things, again, like, there's, there's this theme of change that keeps popping up every single time we're going anywhere in this game that we used to be. Oh, look at that. That's a cool effect there. Dollar Empire. And yet, Dollar Empire is still here? I think this is one of the th things the internet can't compete with. True. It's true. Like, we still have all of our dollar stores. When no, actually, one of them closed down. None of our local dollar stores closed down, but that's because it's, it's like right near the other dollar store and the other dollar store is better. You know what I mean? You ever get that where it's like, I remember as a kid, there was the two dollar stores. There was uh, Pound World and and Pound City. <laughs> Pound World and Pound City, right? And like Pound World was always better than, no, Pound City was always better than Pound World. And they changed their names to Euro Giant and Euro World. And so, like, and Eurogiant was Pound, Pound City. Sorry for going too far into this. But, like, whenever we were going to the shop, it was like, man, like, let's go to the dollar store. And it's like, you go into, like, the, the, the other dollar store, which is Euro store, uh, the, the Pound uh, World, not, yeah, Pound World. And it was like, this is so expensive for a pound shop. And then you go down to the other place. It was called Pound Shop, by the way, at the time, because we were, um, we still had English money at the time. Uh, and then we went, then you go down to Pound City, which was Euro, now Eurogiant, which is still there. And everything's so inexpensive. Like, it's so good, especially when you're like a teenager or a kid. It's like, oh my god, you mean I can get these knockoff Superman toys for two euro? And they're like, and they'll, they'll stay intact and not break for like three days? This is great. This is, it was a dream. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You get an eraser for a dollar. That's actually pretty expensive. You in, in our pound stores, you could get like a pack of like ten erasers for like a euro. A pencil for a dollar. A pencil? That's so expensive! What the hell is this that do this dollar empire is so expensive? That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh god, you're right. It does not. You can get a pack of pencils, like in not even in the Euro store, in the in the uh, uh the educational supply shop. You used to be able to get a pencil for 35 cents, like a, an artist 3B pencil, like a HB 3B, like kind of uh Fancy pencil. Oh my god. The Eurev is still here. <laughs> this whole thing? I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. We are so gonna do this. There's no way I'm going in there. Wait, right, let's go in there. This kind of reminds me of the Nine Lives store here in our in our local city. We're like, yeah, there's like, it's like all like, you shop here. Look, you do shop here. Oh, for God's sake. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Hey, ladies. Hello, lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Oh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. All right. So let's see here. What's this? Haha, <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017. I think they're back in. Mm, that's cool. I bet you listen to them. 
Um, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad. I'm getting there. Oh, wow. Hmm. Wow, haven't seen belt buckets in a while. At least not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake uh, driving semi-truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. No, 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 no. Why would we do this? What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. You're right. Why would I do this? Should be cool. Shopping is no big thing. This is my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Shoplifting, vandalism, piracy, shoplifting again now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. <laughs> How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs? If the dinosaur is moving. Wait, that's not. Never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching. Like you're gonna freeze when she looks over? Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket? And this is gonna work because dinosaurs? J just, just like dinosaurs! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? That's the that's the right move. No, let's then wait, we act we have to steal something? <gasps> oh my god, I just know it's the minigame. This is too much. Our hand is shaking so much. Sweet, why did we rob this? This is like a local store as well. You know what I mean? This isn't like... Like, I would feel so bad. Like, I've never, I, I personally never stolen anything in my life, but... Are you done? Uh, yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Man, this feels weird. Because it seems like it's a locally owned business, you know what I mean? It, like, I wouldn't want to steal from them. Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle. I am never ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. There is not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean... B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Unless it's like a multi-chain store, then I don't feel as bad. Or I'm gonna run into interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk, I can do this. Okay, I'll admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. <laughs> but what if I get caught? You won't, I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey, <laughs> she said hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw, I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah. <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. So, what time do you get off later? Is it like, you revolution or like, your revolution? So what time do you get off later? Uh, are you flirting with me? Um, sorry, I'm not very good at this. Maybe yes, maybe no. I play hard to get. I do play hard. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. Oh, it's okay. I feel you. Awkwardness, am I right? Oh, I see. I thought I sent someone who walked in. Awkwardness, am I right? It's okay. I was really awkward until I met Dennis. Dennis? Yeah, he works at the prison over in Bright and Brittle. He used to come in to get plugs. We're gonna get hitched one of these days. I noticed I was just doing uh, B's voice for, for this girl for a bit. <laughs> Wait, Dennis Durham? From Possum Springs? Uh, yeah. How did you know? I think I was married to a girl I know. He might actually still be married. I don't know their situation. What? Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Okay, it was nice that I know you. I <laughs> uh, see ya. Would you not be suspicious of them going back into the store after they left and then just like talking to you? Why did I do that? You did so well, B. I called the cops and shoplifters at my own store. This. 
What did you get? Haven't you even shopped before? Wait, what did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice. God. Forget it. We're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in the open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. I mean, like... I get the whole idea of, like, B trying to give her an experience, but I think that, like, completely, like, falls into what B is already thinking about, uh, May. Which is that May, that everything else has changed, but May is not. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Do you ever come to the Summer Days thing here? Yeah, it is like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed some guy in there with a squirt gun. One time I saw a knock a guy down. Yeah. Every year that would happen and someone would make a fuss. But like, I don't know. You showed it to be squirted by a fish fountain. <laughs> you know the walkway up there? Way up there? Past the upper food court thing? Up in the atrium? The what? The ceiling, the glass part that points up. I know what an atrium is. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that's uh, where God lived. Wow. I don't know. I just remember staring at him when I was a kid, like eating a burger and trying to see if I could see God. Like peeking over something. Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Want to go up and see? Nah, my knees are killing me from work. That makes sense. You're working hard. Um, the funny thing is, like, like I love to, like, you always think way different things when you're a kid. When I was, I think we're going to sit down there in a second, maybe. When I was a kid, uh, maybe we'll check it out. When I was a kid, I thought that Whoopi Goldberg was God. Like, actually God. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of them all first. Yeah. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Uh, because she would play God in a Muppets movie, and I literally thought that was God. <laughs> I literally thought Whoopi Goldberg was God. Book Rook. Vibes Music. Let's go into Vibes Music. Let's see what we can get in here. Well, this should be good. I want to kind of... Oh, come on. There's no one working at the counter. Oh, wow. Hello, anyone here? Jeez, this is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? When you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> They're getting along. They're getting along a little bit more. Jeez, ruins. Let's see what they got. Honky Tonk Armageddon. Club a girl rolling hard on that E at the rate. Let's say Honky Tonk Armageddon. Whoa, I'd actually listen to that. Just to see what uh, what the hell even means. Carver's got a pickup truck exactly like my uncle's. Well, this one's on fire and flying at a dragon's face. Upgrade. Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know. You remember the song? Had that video uh, that people posted like a zillion times? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. I had that weird. It had that weird horse in it. Oh, yeah, I remember it had a weird horse in it. Oh god, yeah, that horse was all... <laughs> I remember. Yeah, we have officially remembered that video. <laughs> we did it! Okay, this is getting... Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, like, blind, but it's getting more natural. For me, when I was a teenager, what I miss about music stores in general or going into music shops is, like, as a kid, I went to buy the new uh, Axe Wound album. Uh, because they just released their first album and I was like I wanted to support this this band that I really liked I went up to the music section. It was like here uh, Was where Axwoon's album should be it wasn't there at the time it actually wasn't there But there was, I bought something else instead, but I walked up here like this I know was this album cover here and I was like what is what is that like and I kept walking just because I was like and I checked this out but I kept shifting my eyes over over to here and I didn't even know what it was and I came over here and I kept checking I was like 16 at the time or 17 and like I was like, I picked up the album and I was like, this is beautiful. I still have it over here. It's gorgeous. Maybe I can get, I'll get a cover of it and maybe I'll show it up on the screen if I can. But I was like, what is this band? Coheed and Cambria? And I, I'm like, they are now my favorite band of all time. Every single song I love. I still listen to them to this day, every single day. And it's so funny to think about how like, that experience was found through walking through a music store and literally just seeing album art cover. Because album art cover was so important back in the day. Back in the day, back in my day, back, it was, like, it was just really important. Um, it's not as important now, it's still pretty cool. Huh, thought there was more to this place. Nope. This isn't even a mall, this is like a hallway with crap in it. 
Wow, look at that big, dark, empty parking lot. Yeah, not sure if it's yeah, ever been filled. There aren't even enough people in, in the whole town. Probably not. It's like a big black ocean. With a uh, fish-tastic uh, with fish, uh, fish on the other side. Oh, shit. I got a weird fever from eating at that fish-tastic. So, um, yeah. And by the way, I'm not trying to be like a boomer and be like, My day was better. No, dude. The fact that when a new Coheed and Cambria album comes out and I literally pay no extra money and it's just there on my phone is crazy, right? It's like, I'm not an idiot. Like, I know how in incredible that is. I know how lucky we are to be living in an era where we just literally get our music like, right then and there. I just still, you know, I still miss that type of era as well where, like, uh, the album cover would, like, draw you into the album. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. A oh, what a feeling. See? That wasn't hard. We don't really have a food court in our in our malls. We have two malls here. We have uh, Marker Cross and McDonough. And, like, uh, it's it's not that. There's no... There, well, there kind of is a food court, but there's, like, multiple restaurants in there. So I guess there kind of is a food court. Uh, what did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pistachio from Gopher. Piro Burger from Smelt Burger. That sounds pretty good. That's just a big pile of carbs and meat, huh? Isn't that what we are? Bones, too. I don't want bones in my burger. Raining? What? Remember when Kathy Domincio pulled out Sidney Clark's nose ring here? You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, like, uh, what's his name? Football guy. Football guy. Ron Boonstra? I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and uh, Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdown's for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Demiso. That's, uh, something. Kathy was in marching band, and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah. See, that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. I wonder what Kathy's up to now. I wonder what Ron's doing. I wonder what happened to Cindy. I imagine she got a new road nose ring. <laughs> or conversely, or conversely, never want a nose ring ever again. You know what the worst part of this story is? The sword high school drama. Cindy having something ripped out of her face. Ron. At the time, I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. Hmm, I guess. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Think about this place, the fountain and the God walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Not knowing means it might be going wrong and I may not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. That is so true, though. That is so true. As a kid, it, like, helped... It helped get you through everything knowing that, like, there was, like, this big greater plan, you know what I mean? Not that you thought about it all the time, but it's like, oh, well, you know, things are... Things are gonna work out in the end. When I was at school? Yeah. I, I don't even want to talk about it. What happened anyway? Do you want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. We can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run, I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Now we can jump. So we couldn't jump because we were with, um, B at the time. But now we can jump up here and do this stuff. Man, look at the balance. I love, I love, I love May's balancing act. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Wait, no, this is a bad idea. Let's do it. Let's do this. The funny thing is, is that like I hung out with troublemakers. I think a lot, and like you know, I've never been really gotten into serious trouble. Um. But, like, to me, like, I think that, like, a lot of people might see Troublemakers as just that. But, like, I think that, like, a lot of times they, like, can be, like, they won't, they won't show it, but they're super caring. You know what I mean? They're super, super caring. Okay, we'll try it again. We almost had it. I feel like sometimes with uh, people that cause massive amounts of trouble, you know, sometimes there can be just something missing. Uh, sometimes. And sometimes it's just, um, for fun. Oh, wow. Is this... 
is what? <laughs> Fantastic! Whoa, hey. Wait, what's happening? Oh, it's the controls! It's the controls. <laughs> it's the controls of the fish! Yeah. Sorry, we're doing this. <laughs> How do you expect me not to do this? Oh, hey. She's laughing too. We're making me laugh. We're making me laugh. Yeah, take that. Take that. Take that, you bystander has done nothing wrong. <laughs> he ran. <laughs> Come by here now. I'll be smiling. <laughs> How are you doing that? Man, making me smile? This is worth every single aspect of this. Like getting in trouble. I stop and I'm gonna die. Yeah, this is amazing. This makes me feel so good. Guys, you need to understand what's happening here is I'm making my really awesome friend fight. You're gonna call the cops? A laugh, I mean. I'm making her lie. Cry with laughter. At least we're splashing their feet as well. It's hard to aim at the head. Oh, they're running. Y'all running? Stop being scared. Beatrice Santello. Haha. <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that you, God? This is so sweet. Yes, it is I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. <laughs> Through my fish monster, I have laid waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence! I shan't say it again! You and your go good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here. This is so sweet! <laughs> uh, the cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. <laughs> For I am God and I hate the cops. <laughs> okay, okay, get out of here. Have a good one, mortal. This is so sweet. This is so sweet. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in the much big- Yes, yes, yes. Sure, whatever. Turn the shit. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, I agree. I agree. She's uh, she's not the man. She's the one who's going to get in trouble. Hello? You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like, uh, like, uh, is like it is. What, you stole this? You're just a cog in the much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming an ins uh, a thing inside the whole thing. So you're turning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. Wow. The what whole thing? The whole thing? We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? I'm glad she didn't report us. Very kind of her. This is so sweet. This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just big, a big, mostly empty thing. I'm a big, mostly empty, uh, in a big, most, uh, in a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucene used to be something. Now for less ends over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. <laughs> I want to drive on the way home. Nope. <laughs> she thought the vibes were going that way. She was like, okay, I got maybe like maybe this is where it's going. Wow. That whole thing was amazing. That whole sequence. I'm really happy, Bandit Queens of the Fourth Lucent Mall. All hail. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Hey, Dad. Sup, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. That's such a dad thing to say. That's such a dad thing to say. Wow, hold on. Let me write that down. 
It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? When I would be. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of... I don't know. Like, she's older. Like, much older. And kind of... Sad. Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? Been an excellent daughter? Been a credit to this family? That doesn't count. Well... Would you watch some TV with me? Sure. Let's do it. Hold up. I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Oh, it's these guys. Welcome back, folks. Hell of a show tonight. Say, Malloy. Yes, Garbo? Ever get the feeling that disaster's right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. You superstitious, Garbo? Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned, and now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. <laughs> yeah, what about the rest of us? What? That's a whoop. That's a whopper. Oh, no, you can save and quit, which is cool. Coming next, Garbo and I join a cult. What's interesting though about this is that like a lot of the the, the like the, you look at the difference between the conversations between May and her, and her mother and May and her father. Uh, I feel like the conversations with May and her mother are much more relaxed. They're a lot more less direct. They're kind of like a little bit comedic in at times, and like even like they're 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 loving to an equal amount. It's like they're both giving each other a hundred percent of their love. While with the conversation with the dad, and maybe I'm reading too much into this, uh, to me really feel like. Like, a little bit strained. A little bit like they're both trying too hard to, like, get conversation out of it. Trying too hard to, like, make something out of nothing, I suppose. Uh, but we'll see how everything goes. I walked up backwards up the stairs. Intentionally. We should probably check her computer as well, just to see if there's anything changed on it. We're not going to play that game, I don't think, again. Unless you needed to win the game. Let's see. So there's, like... Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yes. I hope we didn't make too much of a mess. With the fountain. Who's we? I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with mall water. <laughs> I will not rest until the fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It is a trauma I shall bear forever. Really love how we change our conversations here with her. Hey dude, what did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something? For Angus? It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Oh crap, I gotta go talk to you later. Okay, weirdo you, okay. Away message. Born to lose. Country trash proud. Drummer. Skate and destroy. Skate to create. Yeah, bound for glory. Yeah, very cool. Man, this game is so special. This game is incredible. Like, as I said, it's going to take, like, it's going to take so much for this game for me not to just say this game is a 10 out of 10. Like, it's going to it's gonna have to trip up so badly. You know what I mean? Like, like that thing, it's going it's to have to trip up so badly. And then we're here in this weird environment again. Almost like, it seems like it has to be a dream world of some sort. Wait, who's that? Is that Gre Greg? Is that Greg's shadow? I like the weird platforming stages in this too, by the way. They're actually really fun. But was that Greg? There's a sword up there with like a snake. Is that what's happening in the constellation up there? What is that? Let me check. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry for ruining your time. Wait, is that a head? 
That's us. Let's check with the, what's the other way as well. And that's clearly the moon. What are we even looking at here? And then that's... Is that Craig? So do we have to go this way? It seems like maybe we have to go this way. I don't want to miss too much stuff, but it's like... It's a very weird... Is that germ? I guess you have to go down here. I'm so confused, but like it's like it, it doesn't feel bad. Like this place is kind of weirdly dark at the same time also like has a weird serenity to it as well. So one of these lights is lit up now. But I mean we're playing this song now, which is cool. Let's try to go up the other way now, for now. Oh, we can jump as well. That's gonna make things like a million times easier. I'm still at a stage as well, guys, where like I have not seen the comments for this playthrough, so like it, it kind of feels weird if I'm being honest. Because it's like, I don't know what people think about this game. So we have another singer here as well. We're like activating a song almost. I'm just so incredibly like kind of impressed by the world of this game. And that's our like third, so I guess we have to light up all the lights. Is there any way we can get up there? I feel like that like that's where we have to go. That's the thing. So far, the only criticism- oh, that's definitely where we have to go. Yeah, how do we get up there? It's just a matter of like getting the right jump. So far, I gotta give this game uh, a 2 out of 10 because there hasn't been any- there we go. There hasn't been- we have not been in the woods yet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh my god, this song's great. And there it is, there's the four lights lit up. Now what what that what that means is it totally did Another monster. This time it's a bear. Is that a start of another chapter, or is that... It's always hard to know. It's always hard to know with the, with the with this game. I mean, let's check our computer really quickly to see if there's anyone else to message us for today, so we can check like where we need to go or something. Oh yeah, we do have messages for today. Hey, I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. That's really cool. B wants to say hello. Morning. I'm working today. I can say out of time I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. I want to go see Greg. I feel like we should definitely spend our time between both of them and, and like hang out with both of them if we can. Um, but I'm really glad that we got to connect with B. That was really fun. Um, 
I feel like also we found this weird middle ground that- Did he move the boxes, by the way? We found this weird middle ground between us. Where, you know, I think B definitely, like, was... Looking down on us being a, like a little bit, a little bit kid, which is fair enough. Like I think it's it's kind of upsetting to see like you know someone get like a few more advantages than you and not take them. I can totally understand where you're coming from with that. Is ma'am here? Good morning. Did you feel it last night? No. What? There was a big sinkhole. Two streets. Wait, what? Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those are really ever going away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, there's just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together, uh, if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? I uh, went to the mall at B. Oh, Fort Lucene? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm, bye, sweetie. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of, like, respect between them. You know what I mean? There's, a lot, there's definitely, like, a, a respectful conversation always happening there. Whoa, it's definitely an autumn day. Of some sort, anyway. Take this. Establishment. The music just gets better and better as this game goes on as well. So I'm gonna go straight up. I think we're gonna talk to Greg today. Or at least, like, make sure we talk to Greg first, just in case anything happens with B, where she wants us to like, go somewhere. Because that, that happens in the game sometimes, where, like, they, like, progress the story forward. Like, really quickly, I suppose. They do that quite a bit, actually. And actually, we probably should, like, talk to the girl about our granddad again. So that might be a thing we'll do next time as well. Guys, that's gonna do for this video. I'm having such a wonderful time with this. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.